Alright y'all, I'm back. <clears throat> Married to Medicine Season 5, Episode 10, Invitations and Revelations. So you have uh, Tawanda Braxton at Dr. Heavenly's office getting the crown. They talk about her being divorced and dating. Really don't care because we're not going to explore that on this fucking um, seat or series. So moving on. Curtis and Jackie, they have a picnic. She feels like everybody's watching her. There was only a couple people out there, but... It is what it is. He gives her a card <clears throat> with two sentences handwritten, which I'm saying like, bruh, it's a hell of a lot more you can say than two sentences, but he wants them to go to Paris. And she even said that uh, he took her to Paris and, you know, he was fluent in the language and whatnot. And that's where, like, he captivated her. But she pretty much said like, nah, brother, we need to have, we need to have counseling. <clears throat> so we have contestants, guy, they have a date night. She feels guilty because, you know, she's not with the kids. It's mommy. She asked him, have you ever had daddy guilt? And she's like, well, one of us needs to, like, stay back. And his whole thing is, had it been two years ago when we didn't have by this house, I would say yes, but it's not feasible right now. <clears throat> that he just either call Miss Renee back or get another fucking nanny. Long story fucking short. <clears throat> Simone and Cecil, they're working on, on their relationship. Cecil invites over his business partners. They want Simone to be the face of the app. She even asks about security and more money. But she says that she's in. But you can kind of see on her face that she was a little bit upset. Like, did you really just bring this shit on me? Is what it is. <clears throat> Toy and Eugene meet with a real estate agent. They say their old tenant does not want to renew. The mortgage is 3 k And that is all they were charging for rent for the uh, previous tenants. And you know they want you know five seventy six for the uh, estate. The guy telling them that it's only five thirty. Now, <clears throat> I don't know shit about real estate. <clears throat> I really don't. Like I said when I went to college, my major was mathematics. My minor was secondary education. And now I'm currently in the field where I'm an air tra like I I have two trades: air traffic controller and UAV operator. Look at your boy. <laughs> Look at God. Won't he do it? So I don't know nothing about that, but my thing is, <clears throat> if the place is already, pay actually it's not paid for, the mortgage is only 3000 a month, y'all currently staying in a place that I think is like $10,000 a month for rent. Instead of selling the place that you, that you already have, why not just move back in there and continue? It makes no sense, and it's just like they're making, like, I can't talk about people making bad financial because I know I've made quite, you know, I've made my own share, so I really, but it's just like, that right there is not the smartest money move, and it's like, if, <clears throat> I do think that if they downsize and go there, they move back over there, that is, what, $7,000 that they're not paying in terms of rent, that can go towards killing their debt, which can reduce the amount of hours that he's working on. Just saying. Not saying, just saying. <laughs> um, what else? <clears throat> so we got Quiet with her friend Emily. She's on 11 Alive to do a cooking segment because, you know, she's trying to secure a book deal. One thing that I will say is that she can actually do a lot of the lab work herself, build the book, and literally all that she really needs is a publishing and distribution deal rather than waiting for someone else to come along and do all of the legwork because now you're going to be sitting and paying people uh, money for shit she could be doing right now like you know taking the pictures that she's cooking everything building the recipe blah, 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 blah. but I think quite a smart woman I think she's probably already doing it I'm just saying we got our uh, heavily daughter Simone with their respective kids Michael and Laura hold on I was so mad at Dr. Heavenly because she turns to Michael and she's like you know, you turned out to be real cute. You was funny looking. <clears throat> now, Michael agrees that, yeah, you know, I was looking a little bit funny with, you know, the glasses and shit. But, you know, the girls like that. They like me now. But Dr. Simone was like, would you like it if I said the Lord look funny? And the Lord was like, no, no, don't even do that. Don't even do that. And it's just like, <laughs> why would you? Like, I got to be friends. But that's some shit that you probably shouldn't say, especially with the kid being right there. But <clears throat> they have a conversation because they're all riding the same car together. And the conversation was that Dr. Heavily wants to take over the couple's trip and wants them to go to Barbados. Heavily and Toya <clears throat> are together and 
Toya wants to know is she inviting everybody and Dr. Heavily does not know if she's going she doesn't know if Mariah's coming more or less if she's really going to invite her so we have a kids for us reveal <clears throat> I looked uh because I wrote the uh, notes for this review yesterday as of yesterday the app is still not out just say not trying to hate but just say like the app is still not out Quad arrives late, she asks about <clears throat> sex offenders, and Cecil says that anybody that wants to um, post a job listing, that a thorough national background check will be done on each person. So it's good that they literally sat down and at least for that had answers to questions, because the worst thing would have been had that question got asked and he didn't have an answer. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Heavenly Claude Simone and Jackie, they're talking about the whole, you know, she will only invite Mariah if there's an apology. Quad brings uh, you know, being cordial, but what's her name? Toy was just like no in essence we're being tolerant. Because being cordial, you know, is being kind of fun and all this other stuff. You're not really being cordial with her, you're being tolerant. <clears throat> So, I think it was Mariah that said, like, because the whole Pacha thing came up, I, pro I didn't really break this down the way I probably should have, but it's the whole, you don't apologize expecting to receive an apology back. That's not how apologies work. I do agree with that. <clears throat> Mariah leaves. Simone and Mariah actually has uh, Maya from, I think, Cutting the ATL with her. So, Simone brings heavily to Mariah to apologize. Heavenly advice Mariah to Barbados. Mariah says to her, look, I don't think that kids <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> parents, like kids and parents shouldn't be, should be off limits, I'm sorry. And even with the whole kids thing, I mean, hey, we already seen her say something about, you know, Michael. So not too far fetched that she would say something about someone's kids. <clears throat> and Heavenly says, do me a favor. Just don't bring up my husband, which I think that is fair. And shit escalated from there, and that was the end of fucking episode. So that's all I got for that. See you guys right back for Real Housewives.